So, you want to make a new head mod for Baldur's Gate 3. You are in the right place. I will explain to you how to do that. <laughs> but first of all, we are starting with assumptions, which are that you already have all of your head files done. By that, I mean you have your mesh, your head mesh, your skeleton that goes with it, as well as your textures done as well as Baldur's Gate 3 Modder's Multitool and Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager and Notepad++ or any kind of um, code editing software. All right, so to start with, you need to download Weevil Gestures head template. I know that there are, there are other head templates, uh, namely Padme's template, but I'm used to this one. So this is the one we're going to use in this video. So once you've downloaded the file, you extract the archive and you should have a folder called head template like this. I suggest you keep a copy of this file somewhere. For example, I have it in my template resources here. And then we're just going to copy it and paste it in our head work file. I already did it. Here it is. Uh, we can then rename it to um, John mod, or I guess John head mod. There we go. Now going inside, I'm not going to go over the readme text. You can just read them, uh, but I'm just going to delete them because... Uh, I don't need them after having done this several times. <laughs> All right. So to start with, we're going into the generated folder. Um, this is where our head files are going to go. As you can see here uh, in the template, there's already some files just to show you what to do, but we don't need them. So I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to go fetch our um, John files here. I'm going to copy them and go back to our, sorry, our John head mod generated. I'm going to create a folder called John head. I suggest you don't put any spaces in your folder names, uh, just in case it messes something up. All right. So in John head, we're going to paste our John head files. So make sure all your head files are in here. You can have as many folders as you want here. So for example, you could even do something like John textures and then have the textures in that other folder. But honestly, you usually do that for uh, when you have extra heads to uh, just organize things a bit better. We don't really need it for just one head. All right, um, I say just one head, but the fact that I have the head for elf, half elf and human means that it's gonna be counted as three heads when we make the, the mod, when we code it. So just a heads up. All right, uh, we are done putting our files in the John head generated folder. Going back to the main folder, we can go ahead and continue. We go to the second folder, which is localization. Let me delete this. This file is going to um, help us set up the head name that people are going to see in character creation when you select the head. All right, so we're just going to open this with Notepad. Here, we're going to generate a new handle uh, using the multi-tool. So you just tick handle, generate, and then click here to copy the new handle. This is completely uh, randomly generated, by the way, and there are so many letters and numbers that you're never going to generate uh, the same code uh, twice. So we can just paste it here. And then put the name of our heads right here. It's going to be called John. Um, if you have several heads in your mods, and by that I mean several heads that will not have the same name, you can just generate new handles and put their the the other heads' names here. Uh, you can have as many as you want. 
but since we only have one, I'm going to delete the other ones. All right, so that's done. I'm going to just save. By the way, um, if you want to do this on your own, you, you can just follow the comments here in green. Uh, they act as a tutorial, basically. Uh, so you can just go at your pace, pause the video, read everything, and then continue on <laughs> to the next step. All right, so um, we're going to keep this file open because we're going to need this handle later on. Next, we can go back to our mod folder and we can go to the next folder, which is mods. Okay, let me delete this. Um, here you can see that there's a folder called head template. And if we go back out and then into public, you can see that there is another folder also called head template. That is on purpose. They have to have the exact same name. So I'm going to rename them right now. It's going to be John uh, underscore head, for example. You can rename them anything you want, as long as they have the exact same name. Okay, John head, there we go. And then going inside, you can see the meta.lsx. Um, file that we're going to open with notepad++. This file is to set up everything you see in the mod manager. When you, when you put a mod, you see here the title of the mod, I mean the name of the mod, the version number, the, the author, as well as the description. When you hover over it, everything is set in this meta file. And you also need it just for the mod to work when you do drop it into the mod manager. So let's get to it. Here you can just put your name. It's going to be the author name, basically. Then description of the mod. I su highly suggest putting something here um, because it just makes it easier for people to know what mod does what when they forget. So um, I guess John is a T2, body type 2, head, for elf, drow, human, and half elf. There we go. Here, folder name is going to be the name of uh, that folder we just renamed. So for us, it's john underscore head here you can put the mod name that's going to appear uh here in the list so we're going to name it john head i also highly suggest putting what your mod actually is in the title itself in the name itself because it's just it's just easier like you can tell at a glance here that this is a head, this is a head, and this is a head. So next we can generate a new unique ID to put here. Um, so opening up the multi-tool, I'm going to untick handle and then click generate and click here to copy the generated ID and then paste it right here. And then down here, we can change the version number. Um, to get that number, we're going to open up the mod manager, then go to tools up top here, and then toggle version generator. And uh, this is going to be version 1.0, so it's already, it's already set. You can just copy this and then paste it right here. There you go, uh, it's, it's already done here. All right, so everything is set up here. We can just save control S and quit because we don't need this anymore. Okay. So this is where we were going back up to the main folder. We're going to go to public, John head, character creation, character creation, appearance, visuals, edit that with notepads. All right. So Remember when I told you that even if we have one head, 
since it's available for um, four races, it's going to count as four different heads, which means we're going to have four nodes in this file. So let's do the first node. So in this first line here, we're going to set, we're going to tell the game if the uh, head is available for strong or standard body. Uh, our head is going to be available, available sorry, for um, standard body. So I'll just keep this value at zero. Um, if we were making a head for strong body, we would put a one here. And then underneath, uh, well, you can tell masculine is zero, feminine one. So since our head, our John head is a masculine head, you can just keep zero. Um, for the default skin color, you don't need to worry about that. And then display name. Um, so this is where we're going to put the handle we previously generated in, in our uh, custom name uh, file. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. Next, we need to put the race uh, unique ID. You can see that they're all listed down here. So let's say that our first node is going to be um, for the human head. So here I'm just going to copy this for humans and then paste it here. And then down here, we need to generate a new uh, unique ID. So opening up the multi-tool, I click generate and then click here to copy, paste it here. And then down here, I also need to generate a new ID a second time. So I'll just do that quickly. There we go. And I'll paste it here. There we go. We have set up the first head, which is the human head, human John head. But as I said, uh, oh, sorry, my cat is on my keyboard. <laughs> so as I said, uh, the head's going to be available, also available, sorry, for elves, half elves and humans and drows. I forgot to mention that. Um, drows are kind of special though, because they use the same stuff as the elves. So it's it's almost copy paste, but we need we do need to define a node just for drows. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna copy this node. As I said, this was the human node. Um, by the way, if you want to keep track of things, so for example, I just said that this node is the human node, human head node. Um, so just to mark that, I'm going to add a new comment like this. I'm going to call it human. Uh, I'm going to call it John human head. And this is for T um, two. Um, so just th so that I know which is which. All right. So next node is going to be for, uh, let's say half elves, maybe half elf. Okay. So uh, it's going to be basically the same, except I need to change the race ID, which is this one. I need to swap it for the half elf one, which is down here. It's this one. So I copy it and then paste it here. There we go. Um, and then here I need to generate a new ID. You get it and I need to generate another one for this part. There we go. Then I'm going to copy this, paste it. Um, this is going to be elf head. So I just do the same. I'm going to copy this elf ID, paste it here and then generate new ID, paste it here, generate a new ID once again, and paste it here. Then I can copy this once again to do the draw head, which is the last one. 
drow. We go. Let's do the same. So this is the drow race ID. I can just paste it here. Then generate a new ID for this one. And generate a new ID for this one. All right. Now we're done with this file, but we will need these IDs that we um, generated at each end of each node. So we're going to have to just save it, control S and keep it open. But we can close um, this one with the handle. We're done with it. All right. This one will keep open. Um, so going back to our mod, we are done with character creation, appearance, visuals. We can go back up to uh, our public John head folder and then go to content. Um, and here is our heads. We can also rename this, but we need to leave the pack in front of it. We need to keep this in the name. So I'm just going to. And it pack John. There we go. All right. So in here, um, it gets a little bit complicated, but just at first, um, basically you can have as many merged as you want because they're going to get merged as the name implies and you separate them just for clarification, basically just to, uh, to differentiate between things. So what I like to do is having one different merged per head per race. Um, in this case, we only have one head, which is John, and we have four races, which are human, half elf, elf, and drow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, four merged, and I'm going to call them each one of them. Like for example, this one's going to be human merged um oh yeah before i forget though before i do that i need to explain why we have one merged and one tiff tiefling merged it's because they don't have the same they don't use the same template you need to use a different template for tieflings but for the other races you can just use this first one here as a as a base i mean so since john is not a head for tieflings it's not available for t for tieflings you can just go ahead and delete that uh but yeah we're gonna need this one okay so let me rename it as i was gonna do earlier to human okay so this is going to be our uh merged for the human heads i'm just gonna open it with notepads um, this is a chunky file, kind of, especially at first, but you, you get used to it. Once you are in here, you just follow the green comments. So right here, um, we need to generate a new ID for our custom skeleton. So I'm just going to generate one, copy this. And then, um, since there are several IDs like this that we need to replace, we're going to uh, just highlight this, just select it, and then press Control H on your keyboard to replace it with the ID you just generated. But you want to replace all in a document, so just click Replace All. And here uh, at the bottom, you can see it replaced it two times, which is what we wanted. Um, next, we need to put the name of our base here, of our skeleton. So let's go, where was it? Um, in the generated folder, our base for our human head is called John underscore human underscore base. So I'm just gonna put that here. There we go. Uh, down here, we need to put the path to our base. So the name is johnhumanbase.gr2 and uh, the folder name was John Head. Let me just check, double check. Yeah, it's John Head right here. You can see. Generated John Head, John Human Base is right here. 
Once that's done, we can just uh, copy this and then paste it. Oops, sorry, paste it here. There we go. So it's like the same. It's the same path, but it needs to end with dot dummy root dot zero instead of dot gr two. And that's it for this section. We can do Control S to save. And here you can see there's a small X at the top here. Uh, that means we can collapse this section by clicking here on the minus on the on the side here. Okay, there we go. Next, we need to set up the material bank. Uh, I'm not going to explain what each of those is because it is kind of explained here. And honestly, you don't need to know <laughs> at first um, until you want to do more advanced stuff. So right here, we need to generate a new ID. So I just open the multi-tool, generate, copy, and then paste it here, except don't just paste it to control H and then replace all because there are three occur occurrences that you need to actually uh, replace. Okay, that's done. Then here you need to put the name of your head, which is John Human. Just put it here. Okay, we don't need to touch anything else in this part. We can just save and collapse the section. Then here is where we set up our textures. Here we need to generate a new ID. Generate. Doing the same, I'm just going to do Control H and then paste here. Replace all. It replaced it two times. Uh, let me collapse this again. Then we paste the Clia name right here, the Clia texture, which is right here. It's just called John underscore Clia. We paste it here as well as down here. And then here we need to put the path to the texture. And that path is like so. John head, John Clea.dds. Then down here, you can generate a new ID for the HMVY. Control H, replace all. Collapse this. Here we need to put the name of our HMVY texture, which is John underscore HMVY. There we go. Here as well. And here we need to put the path to the texture, just as we did for the clear. Yeah. There we go. And then we do the exact same thing for the normal map. Which is all that's left. So, uh, oh wait, no. First, let me generate the ID. There we go. Control H, paste, replace all. Collapse this. And then here we can put our normal map name, which is John underscore N M. And the path to that texture right here. John heads. There we go. All right. Um, oh, wait. I made a mistake here. There we go. Now we are done with our textures. Um, can save that and just collapse the section. Okay, next. The visual bank. So uh, the first line we're going to take care of is this one. We need to copy paste our visual resource ID right here. And where do we find that? We find that in our character creation appearance visuals that we had left open just for this purpose. So 
here, um, since I'm doing the human head merged, I can just go ahead and copy this ID. Uh, right here, it says visual resource uh, right before, so you know which one you have to copy. This is the human head. So I just copy the human head's visual resource ID right here, copy, and then I paste it right here. Paste. There we go. That's done. Then head name. I just need to put uh, the name of the head once again. Copy this. There we go. Um, this, if we've done things correctly, should be the skeleton ID that we had generated and replaced. It's already done since we had uh, used Control H replace all, so we don't need to touch it again. Then down here, we need to put the path to our head mesh. So um, our head mesh is called johnhuman.gr2 and it is located in generated and then John heads. There we go. I can just uh, copy this path and paste it here, except it's going to end with dot dummy root dot zero. And that's it. We can save. And that's it. We are done with the merged file. I can just save once again and close it. Okay. So as I said, we do only have one head, which is John head, but uh, we're setting up the head for several races, which means technically we have one head per race. So that means we need one merged file per race. So we're going to set them up right now quickly. I'm just going to copy the human one we just did, paste it, and then I'm going to rename it to um let's do the half elf when okay um you can rename it to whatever you want by the way it just needs to end with underscore merged dot lsf dot lsx actually i have a space right here which needs to remove there we go um okay so let me just edit with notepad okay so here things are a little bit faster because we've already set up most of the file since we copied it from the human merged. But we do still need to change a few things. Uh, first thing we need to change is the skeleton because we're not using the same skeleton for humans and half elves. As you can see here in my uh, John Head files, I am using a different base for half elf. Okay, so that means we need to generate a new ID for that new um, base. So I just click generate, copy, and then I'm going to select this and do control H and replace it with a new ID, replace all. There we go. Then here, I need to replace all mentions of John Human with John Half Elf because I have naming conventions that made it easier for me to just do that. As you can see here, uh, Half Elf is just called H E F and Human is H U M. So I just, I really just need to swap the, the names. So I just do replace all. There we go. Just to go faster, you know. If you if you don't really know how to do this, you can just um, go through the whole file once again, read each comment once again, and do everything once again. And that's okay. I did that the first time. Um, <laughs> you can just go slow and, you know, at your own pace. It's all good. <laughs> I just do this to save time. All right, so um, now that we have replaced that, it's almost already done. <laughs> um, so let me save this. We're done with the skeleton bank at least. As you can see here, it replaced human with half elf everywhere in the document, which is nice. 
save this some time. Let me collapse that. Right here, I need to generate a new material ID. I'm not sure if you actually need to do that, but I do it every time. Uh, and I think that's what you need to do, but I'm just not sure. I, it, it works, so I do it. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to replace all of the new ID I just generated. That's all I need to do. Then I can collapse this section. And right here, texture bank. I use the exact same textures for each head. As you can see here, I only have one set of textures. That means I don't need to change this since I use the same ones. I don't need to change the IDs or, or, or the names or anything. Um, if you do use different textures, you will need to regenerate a unique ID for each, each texture, each new texture that you use. Um, okay, so let me collapse the texture bank and then we only have the visual bank left to do. Um, so right here, what's important is that we change this visual resource ID. So going back to character creation appearance visuals, I'm going to fetch it from here. This is our half elf head. And this is our half elf head visual resource ID. I'm just going to copy it and then paste it right here paste there we go so um this is already done this is also already done and there we go actually we're done that was fast that was cool we're done with our half elf merged file you can just close it don't forget to save before closing of course then you can go back here and I'm going to copy this over and I'm going to rename it to, you guessed it, elf. We're going to do the elf merged next. Okay, edit with notepad. Um, we are using a new um, skeleton for this, for the elf head, which means we need to regenerate our um, skeleton ID. So just go here, generate, copy, and then select this, control H, paste the new ID here, replace all. There we go. Um, here we can replace John uh, half elf, control H, with John elf. Replace all. There we go. You can just save. Then in material bank, we also need to generate a new ID. Copy. And then select this. Control H. Paste the new ID here. Replace all. There we go. We're just doing the same thing we, we just did. But this time for elf. Okay. So save. Textures are not moving. They're still the same. You can just ignore this. It's already done. And then visual bank. We need to copy paste the visual resource ID. So this time our elf head here. Uh, visual resource is right here. We can just copy this. And then paste it right here. Here we go. And that's it. We can save. All right. Um, back to our merged. There we go. Okay. Now we can do the last last race, which is draw. Um, for draw, I always recommend doing elf first, then copy pasting elf because draws use the same um, meshes and skeletons as elves. Drow. And let's edit with notepad. So as I said, we use the same stuff as the elf, um, as the elf heads. So we don't touch anything. 
We don't touch the skeleton bank. We don't touch the material bank. Actually, wait, no. Let me generate a new material ID just in case it doesn't hurt. <laughs> um, here, control H. Replace all. There we go. Okay. Save. We don't, so we can close that. We can also collapse the textures. And this is where it's important. Basically, the only thing we have to change aside from the material bank ID is the visual resource. So going back to character creation, appearance, visuals, our last head right here is the draw head. You can just go ahead and copy this visual resource ID and paste it right here. There we go. That's all we need to do for draw. Everything else is the exact same as else. Okay, so save and we can close that. And we actually can also close uh, this since we are done setting up, setting up all of our heads. We are actually done, guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> all right, so um, that's all you need to do to set up your head. I did more than you would need to do if you only had the head for one race. You would only need one uh, merged here. So it, it would be faster, I guess, but I still wanted to show you how to do several, several heads. All right, so. Um, our head mod is, uh, is done. The setup is complete. We can now package the mod so that we can then use it in the mod manager and in our game. So what I do is I just open modders multi-tool and here's our head mod. I drag the whole folder here in this uh, square, drop it and oop, oh, look at that. Errors found in mod workspace. What? <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> and then this opens. All right, so let's see what we did. Oh, what did I do? All right. No panic, no panic. There may be a little panic. <laughs> so here we can see line 2099, position 52 in the file merged. Okay, it's in, in our merged. There's an issue. Let's check them out. Let's open the human one first. Okay, so let's go down to line, the line that it said. What was it? 20, 89, 20, 99. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's bad. I need this. There we go. Now it's fixed. I need to do the same for all the merged. Okay, I'm just gonna oops, sorry. Open them here. And uh to go faster, I'm just gonna do control F and paste it just to find it easier. There we go, here it is. Save. So that's a neat feature of the modern's multi-tool is that it can actually detect errors in the code, which, as you can see, comes in really, really handy. All right. Now I just save and quit all of them. I fixed the mistake. Um, let's go back here, confirm. Okay. All right. Now, once again, we drag and drop the mod folder. There we go. And here is our mod zip file. We could just grab it and put it in our mod manager. Let me close this. Here's our John head. As you can see, um, if you hover over it, you can see the description. There's the, the mod name that we set in the code, as well as the version and the author name. So I'm just gonna just gonna activate the mod right here. Don't forget to save load order up here. 
and then launch the game to see our new head, our beautiful John head, which should have no problem at all because we have done everything right. All right, let's create a new game just to check the new head. All right, so if we remember correctly, we set up our head for body type 2. Um, okay, edit appearance. It should be, it should be down here. Oh, <gasps> John. Here's John. Isn't he cute? <laughs> That's a, a mod I released, by the way. It's called Tear with a Y. But yeah. Um, here's John. Hello, John. Look at him. Let's check the skeleton, the piercings. Yeah, they're all set up. All good. All right, let's see for drow. Because we did set it up for drows. It should be right here. Here is John as a drow. And then here is John as a human. Where is he? Here he is. Beautiful. And then John as, what was it? Half elf, yeah. Half elf John. And there we go. We added a head to Baldur's Gate 3. Congratulations. I hope this was <laughs> useful uh, to you. I'm sorry, the tutorial is a bit disjointed at times. Um, I have to actually repeat myself sometimes because I just, uh, I'm not, um, English isn't my first language. <laughs> so please forgive me. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, of course, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, on the down by the river discord everyone is always so nice over there you can just ask and they will they will tell you everything you want to know <laughs> um it's it's basically how i learned i basically just um um copied things from people <laughs> uh, looked at how they did things and asked a ton of questions and um everything you've seen in this video like the whole process and all that um i didn't know how to do as of two months ago i didn't know how to edit heads as of two months ago i had basically never touched blender so if i can do it you can do it too and um the more you do it of course the easier it gets you will start start understanding what the code is for and um yeah i hope this is the start of a beautiful modding journey for you <laughs> All right, well, um, talk to you later then.